Hey, Kevin. <laughs> How long have you been sitting here? Uh, I don't know, a while. Thought you'd still be at the dance boogieing away. <laughs> no, no. Dance is pretty much winding down, so uh, I just left. Well, did you have a good time? It had its moments. Hey, where's that, uh, that, what do you call it? What? Uh, what? Uh, the friendship bracelet Rebecca gave you. Don't you wear that anymore? I sing my soul out, leap and shout. Love. Well, look who's still here. Did you stay to clean up? Actually, I was just leaving. Alone? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have that. Not when little Miss Rebecca's looking so fine. But I'm gonna win whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Need any cards? No, I'm good. Yes, you are. Well, I think I will take a hit. And I am so glad that I did. 20! <laughs> well, it looks like you may not win after all, Mr. Holden. Does it? Mm-hmm. Blackjack. So far, it looks like I may never lose. Hmm, you certainly are a winner tonight. You heard me. Since Dorian Lord can't find a lawyer, I have assigned her one from the pro bono list. However, she will assume all financial responsibility. I can't, Your Honor. I can't. You can. And you will. Ms. Mason, make a notation that Nora Gannon is the defense attorney in the Commonwealth versus Dorian Lord no, for the murder... I won't do it. I'm sorry, but there's no way that I can do it. Into my chambers. Right this second. Your Honor, Judge Fitzwater. Now! Or do I have to have the bailiff carry you into the conference? You're all terribly satisfied. What happened? Vicky, you really must have pulled in an awful lot of favors. What are you talking about? First, you get the district attorney to believe your lies and press charges against me. Then you get your brother-in-law to arrest me. And now his girlfriend is being appointed as my attorney? What? Don't worry, Vicky. Nora will never do it. Your Honor. Uh, close the door. <clears throat> if you just let me explain. I said close the door. Miss Gannon, did my ears deceive me or did you refuse a court appointed pro bono case? Yes, Your Honor. You heard me loud and clear. You defy 
a direct order from the bench? Only insofar as it pertains to Dorian Lord. Ha! Huh. So you reserve the right to pick and choose which directives to follow. Your Honor, I will not take this case. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. I don't understand. Where is it? Rebecca gave that to oh, me. Hey, don't worry about it. You probably just took it off while you're getting ready for the dance. No, wait. I never take that bracelet off. Wait a minute. You could have slipped off when I ditched the coat. God, I don't believe this. Well, it's not where you were sitting, either. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to her? Who? Rebecca? Yeah. I hope you saw that Rachel and I kind of dragged Emily off so you could have a little alone time with her. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. Uh, Thanks. We, uh, we danced a little. Dance? What? In the student union? Yeah, the, uh, the music sort of drifted off from the auditorium. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what? Then Emily showed up and Rebecca just disappeared. Well, Emma, what do you think? She's trying to get away from you or something? Kevin, I wish I knew what she was thinking, but I don't have a clue. Look, I gotta find that bracelet. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna retrace my steps, all right? Uh, what, what, back to school? Wherever. There's no way I'm gonna let that thing stay lost. Yeah. Look, Jim, I really have to go, okay? You already left once tonight, and it looked like you were in a real hurry. <sighs> yeah, actually, too much of one. I left my coat here back at the student union, so I had to come and get it, you know? So I know why you left so fast. You do? Sure. In dreams, I'm not a blah, 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 blah. Look, Jim, just stop it, okay? I knew it. You split because it you didn't like us ragging on that cornball poem. Look, that poem is beautiful. You have yeah, no idea. Yeah, right. And I'm the Serenel who wrote it. You like poets, huh? You like all those fancy words? Tell me something. Do I look like a poet to you, Rebecca? No, Jim. You look like a drunk. No, I know, I know. Sure, it wasn't the poem. You split because it griped you to see your favorite rapist show up with Emily Haynes. Don't you dare talk about power like that. Hey, I wasn't the one that made him hold Marty Saybrook down in that bed. Just shut up! Whoa! Sweet Miss R's got some fire in her! You like your rapist, huh? First Todd, now Paul. What's that all about? I said stop it! No. I really want to know. Are the bulbs just kind of dim up in the attic? Or maybe it's something a little lower. Get out of my way. Well, I tell you what. Since you obviously like your dates on the rough side, make me move. I couldn't think of a worse person to represent me. Oh, really? I need a staunch ally, a loyal, determined advocate. And what have I gotten instead? The ex-wife of the man about to prosecute me, the next wife of the man who arrested me, and the bosom buddy of the vigilante who trumped up these false charges against me in the first place. Look, look, if you have a problem with Nora representing you, then why don't you get yourself a different lawyer? Historian, that would genuinely make us happy. Because I am just too exhausted to find myself another lawyer. To tell you the truth, I... I am very depressed by this entire ordeal. The thought of gearing up again to find myself another lawyer, it's too much. But I will just have to hope that Nora does the best job that she can. Something is fishy here. Yeah, I smell it too. Well, of course something is off. We're dealing with Dorian. What, you don't buy this either? Oh, please. I have known that woman for what seems like an eternity. In those years, has she been neurotic? Yes. Has she been manic? Definitely. In fact, you could probably say that her entire life has been unstable. But depressed? No. That's one thing she has never been. 
A few days ago, Dorian showed up at our door, and she practically begged Nora to take this case. You know? And she turned it down, right? Yeah, she turned her down flat. Now, all of a sudden, Nora is representing Dorian. Doesn't it kind of make you wonder if maybe uh, Dorian rigged something so that it would turn out this way? Look, Bo, you can wonder all you want. You know, but however Nora got assigned this case, it, it doesn't matter a hill of beans right now. The question now is whether she can get out of it. Your Honor, do you remember the last time you called me into your chambers? I had just been forced to declare a mistrial because of your behavior during summation. Yes. <clears throat> well, Your Honor, that uh, encounter left a tremendous impression on me, and believe me, Your Honor, it is not my intention to question the authority of this court. You are not questioning the authority. You are rejecting it out of hand. Only because this is a special circumstance. Explain. I have already turned down Dorian Lord as a client. So what? She was assigned to you now. All right. I also think there's a very clear and, 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 and direct conflict of interest here. My fiancé is Bo Buchanan. He's the commissioner of the police. He's the man who arrested Dorian Lord. I see. So I am to conclude that you cannot accept criminal cases in this jurisdiction because of your future husband's position. Uh, well, uh, no, but... Uh... No, but, please. In my mind, there is no conflict of interest. The case is yours. Even if I think... Even if I doubt my client's innocence? What? Your Honor, I am not convinced that Dorian Lord didn't kill Victor Lord. Can you substantiate this belief? Well, at the moment, no. Well, then, you hear me. And you hear me well. You will represent Dorian Lord. And you will defend her zealously, thoroughly, and to the best of your ability as stipulated by the Code of Legal Ethics. You remember, guilty or not guilty, a defendant is entitled to a good defense. And mark my words, Counselor, if we find ourselves in these chambers yet again because of some courtroom stunt of yours, I promise you, I will see to it that you are disbarred this time. And if I never enter the courtroom, if I still refuse to take the client, it'll all be the same. You will never practice law in this or any other jurisdiction again. The choice is yours, Counselor. The Venice Simplon Orient Express. Naturally, the most luxurious train in the world. Again. Once more. Are you sure? It's my money. Not entirely, Max Holden. I think you are holding $120 of mine in your pocket right now. Well, the more the merrier. Hit me. You know, I don't even know why I'm arguing about this. It'll be nice to win for once. <laughs> I'm okay. What have you got? Nineteen! Mm. And you? Twenty. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're really sorry. You're just all broken up about it, aren't you? Can I say, when you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> and you're certainly hot tonight, aren't you? It's finesse. It's not fate. Oh, so you're saying that you can defy the odds here tonight? I'm just saying that when I'm on a roll, there are no odds. Aren't you being a, a touch overconfident, Max? I'm just telling you what I feel. You ever gone into some place, some place you'd never been before, and feel like you had always been there? Like it was home? Yes. Once. Well, that's the way it is with me and winning. 
It's not something that happens to me. It's a place. It's home. When I'm there, nothing is more natural. I feel it all through my body. Are you feeling it right now? Well, I've got 140 bucks of yours. How many do you have of mine? Touche. Mm. <laughs> well, I guess when you were feeling at home, everyone else should just leave town. Is that it? <laughs> You're saying you shouldn't bet against me. You're right. <laughs> Not when I'm like this. Well, I'll just take my chances here. <laughs> Well, if it isn't the Wild Rose's biggest winner to date and his friend. I don't mean to be petty, but we do frown on private parties here. Well, Alex, we couldn't get a dealer, so we decided to play our own little, uh, friendly game. Well, it's permissible, but somewhat tacky, darling. It's sort of like bringing your brown bag to a five-star restaurant. Oh, well, I'll try to control my appetite. Alex, where is your Texas Tomcat? Asa? Well, we had a slight disagreement earlier, but it will be all straightened out soon. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks. My goodness, Max, it seems like I almost never see you with your lovely wife anymore. Why don't you ever bring Luna here? How did it go? Terrific. If you're a Judge Fitzwater fan. Hmm. Did she threaten you with disbarment again? Yeah, she kind of likes playing that card with me, doesn't she? Mm. Mm. Oh, great. You stuck defending Dorian. I did my best to duck it. I gave her two good, solid reasons why I should be excused. One, because of my relationship with all of you. It, it's, it's, it's probably a conflict of interest. And two, I think my client might be a murderer. Well, didn't the judge take that into account? No, oh, she's completely unmovable. It's like trying to pull a tree stump up with nail clippers. Well, we all know why. Yeah, I know. Pitsy's still smoldering about the mistrial I caused at last year's spring fling trial. You know, I don't think she's ever going to forget that. But, I mean, this is outrageous. Can she really have you disbarred for refusing? Well, with the title judge in front of her and the American flag behind her, Barbara Fitzwater is the law. So you're powerless? Well, I didn't say that. I mean, I could disobey her. What? Look, no, we're not talking about a little smack on the back of the hand here. You're messing with this, Marvin. Are you really ready to face never practicing law again? Nora, the uh, hearing is about to resume. Since you are my attorney, I think we'd better sit down and discuss my case. It does pay to prepare. When we heard there's a hot seer... Why do you keep hassling me? Maybe it's got something to do with me not liking criminals. I am not a criminal. Oh, yeah? What do you call hiding a murder and a rapist from the cops? A saint? I was taught hostage. Oh, yeah, right. Like he made you bring him food and medicine and stash him away at that tabernacle. I read the papers, babe. I know what it's all about. But nothing I say is going to change your mind. You know, if you were really smart, when you go home tonight, you'd stay there. What are you talking about? I'm talking about perverts and their girlfriends being allowed in here with us. I mean, that really sucks, you know? They ought to kick you and Powell Lord off campus. Jim, I just want to go. Hey! Please, let me hey, go. Hey, 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 we're just talking here. If you don't let me go right now, I am going to scream for security. Nobody's keeping you here. But I do have one question. You and Todd 
spent a lot of time together. You went halfway to Canada together. So tell me, what was it like, really, being alone with him? Jim, let her go. Now. Sloan keeps telling me to relax. He says there is no way that Dorian can possibly avoid going to prison. But what happened here tonight is precisely why I am so worried. But come on, Vicky. I mean, Dorian is not exactly off the hook yet. She's a lot closer with Nora on her side. Yeah, but just do what Sloan said to do. Relax. Oh, Bo, oh, how can I? Nora has a brilliant legal mind and the track record to prove it, right? Yes, yes. If she winds up taking Dorian's case, it is going to be a great deal more difficult to prove that she killed my father. This is justice being done? I'm not, look, Vicky, I'm not gonna try to kid you, all right? Nora is good. I mean, she is absolutely one of the best, but she's not the only one working on this case. I was your brother-in-law. You, you will always be my sister-in-law. And I'm not gonna let anybody get away with killing your father. You know, the more I think about you being assigned my case by sheer luck, the more I think it was an act of providence. Yes. Wasn't it almost a miraculous coincidence? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Yes, well, somehow I think you probably had more to do with my sitting here than God did. No, oh, what are you saying? I mean, how could I possibly control the wheels of justice? <laughs> it's not worth talking about, dear. It's nonsense. You know what nonsense is? Nonsense is the fact that I have to roll up my sleeves and give my all to defend a client that I don't trust or believe. I really wish that you wouldn't talk like that. Don't you get it? I don't want to do this. Nora, what are you saying? That you won't take this case? Answer me. Are you, are you going to ignore the judge's order and refuse to take my case? All rise. The Court of Common Pleas of the City of Landview, Lantano County, is now hearing recommendations for bail in the matter of the Commonwealth versus Dorian Lord. The Honorable Barbara Fitzwater presiding. Please be seated. Court is now in session. It's late. Let's get right to the matter at hand. Counsel, are you prepared to offer argument in reference to increasing Ms. Lord's bail? Ms. Gannon, are you or are you not ready to represent the client assigned you by this court? We are waiting, Miss Gannon. Your Honor, I have only one thing to say in reference to my client, and that is to increase her bail would be both unfair and <clears throat> unnecessary. Miss Lord's no threat to leave Landview. What makes you so sure? She has been a long-standing member of the community. She has family here. She has business commitments here. And my client's depressed, to use her own words. Explain. Your Honor, this woman has been so upset by the charges brought against her, she couldn't even find the strength to get her own attorney. I mean, it's inconceivable that her uh, a woman who is that demoralized could muster up the energy to take such a drastic and, and demanding step as fleeing the country. Mm -hmm. What you say makes sense. Yes. Bail will not be revoked. But I am going to increase bail by $10,000. Call it a warning for your client to consider her actions more carefully pending the commencement of this trial. Court is adjourned. All rise. You 
You are marvelous. Careful, Dorian. Your depression's cracking. Oh, <laughs> it's just I'm really so relieved. I have the $10,000 with me, which means I won't have to go to jail. I was really worried about that. Dorian, aren't you worried about spending the rest of your life in prison? Not with you as my attorney. Now then, I'm going to call Chet and have him send my files to your office first thing in the morning. Then, uh, next, when should we meet to go over our strategy? Second thing in the morning. I want to read your files first thing in the morning. How does 11.30 in your office sound? It's fine. Just don't be late. I swear. I'm sorry. Well, Gannon versus Gannon, part two, huh? To quote Yogi Berra, it's like deja vu all over again. I said, leave her alone. Back off, man! What's the matter? Don't you like it when somebody else grabs you like that, huh? Or go sleep it off! This ain't over, Lord. Oh, yes, it is. You okay? Yeah. You sure? I'm, I'm fine. Okay, I'm taking you home. No, that's okay. I can I can take the bus. Or Rebecca, I said I'm taking you home, and I am. Now put your coat on, please. Something I said. Don't flatter yourself, Alex. Now why should I when everyone does it for me? Sorry, you feel you have to leave. No, I don't have to leave. I choose to leave. Any particular reason? Yeah. I just got a flash. I'm all played out for the night. Oh. Well, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again very soon. <laughs> played out? What was that? Played out? Well, I don't hear that expression linked to your name very often. Yeah, well, I'm just full of surprises. Mm. Hey, darling. Yeah? Mm. I'll bet that your losing to me was surprising. Oh, Max. It's all part of the game. The only part I like is winning the money. Don't you worry. You'll get your bucks back. <laughs> What is this, another one of your flashes talking now? Yeah. Because there's some poor sucker out there walking around just waiting to lose his money to you. Well, we do live in hope. You take care of yourself, Max. And I hope to be seeing you around. Good night. Good night. Good luck.